Good morning, Capricorn. My name is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Capricorn, this is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Capricorn. We have perseverance. Okay. <clears throat> we also have quest. So I feel like you're doing a lot at this moment. I feel like you're really following through. You're going on a journey of discovery at the moment, Capricorn. But I feel like you are, you're holding tight. You're standing firm. What do we have? Endless possibilities, okay. You also have into me I see. So you may have a lot of choices, a lot of options to choose from. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? The 15th through the 31st. <clears throat> Joy and delight. So whatever this is, <laughs> you're playful. You're happy. You're moving through this with love and kindness. Hmm. And at the bottom, you have air magic. So this may be an air sign that's coming in to deliver some magic to your situation, Capricorn. It may be a Libra. Gemini or Aquarius. But I feel like you're finding the humor in whatever it is that you have to go through. I feel like you're being playful. Okay. You have the B. So I, yeah, I feel like you're busy. You are really busy right now, Capricorn. Community, you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. You be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Yeah, so you may have some abundance coming through as well. But I feel like you're really busy. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the most wisdom. Let your head and your mind reach for the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. Listen to your intuition. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Yes, you do. You're very wise, Capricorn. Very wise. Okay, and very practical, good provider. You're very grounded. So remember that Capricorn. Okay, what do we have? What do the angels want to say to Capricorn? To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Yeah, so you may have some kind of argument. There may be some kind of conflict, some kind of disagreement. Um, but Spirit is letting you know to maybe take a look at someone else's point of view in the situation. Look at your situation from a different perspective. Hangman energy. Okay, and you have Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven watch are watched over by your angels. So yeah, you may be an animal person. You may be um, a furry mom or dad. But yeah, I feel like 
that message is for you as well. Okay, what tarot do we have for Capricorn for December 15th through the 31st? The Eight of Pentacles. Yes, in true Capricorn fashion, you're working. You're working hard. You're trying to master something. And I also feel like whatever this is, okay, you have the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I feel like you figured something out. This may have to do with your work situation. This may have to do with something that has brought you a lot of discouragement because you have the Five of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like this situation, and, it, and like I said, it may be at work. That's the reason why you have perseverance. I feel like whatever this is, you're following it through. Um, but I feel like this is a situation that brought you a lot of doubts. Um, maybe you were working with someone and they got the project all wrong. They didn't do something correctly or to your standards. And I feel like you, it made you disappointed in, in the situation. It made you feel like exactly that. It wasn't up to your standards. So I feel like whatever this situation is, I feel like you have to step in to fix it. I feel like you're brought into the situation to fix something that someone else has done. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I feel like now when you come in this situation to fix this situation, it's going to leave the other person kind of defensive. They feel like you're stepping on their toes. They feel like you're overstepping a certain situation, but you're following through. You're seeing something to the end. And you're doing that because you, you trust your own judgment. You trust your own judgment in this situation. You know how hard you work. So, and you know that you can do the project correctly. So I, that's exactly what I feel like you're doing. And that's the reason why I feel like you have this endless possibilities here. I feel like you are um, taking over the situation. I feel like you're making it all right. Okay, and you have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like some kind of communication is going to come in. And it may be a little bold. It may be someone who comes in with a little fire. Um, and maybe they speak something or say something to you under their breath. And I feel like it's going to have you kind of irritated now for some of you this could be you just opening up to your creativity um, you're going to receive some kind of information about some project that you're doing that's going to open up your creative natures but I really feel like this situation is going to cause some words okay you have the nine of pentacles so <clears throat> Um, if this is the same situation, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to end up working on this project by yourself. You're going to take over the scene. You're going to benefit from doing it on your own. I feel like it's only you that can fix this situation. I feel like you're the only one who has the knowledge to, to fix it. Let's see what else we got. The lovers. Okay. So if you're looking for love in your situation, and look, that's under joy and delight. So now we're coming from work. We're coming from your work situation or whatever this project is, and we're going straight into love. So if you're looking for love in the month of December, 
for at the end of this month, you are receiving your love. Yes, definitely. And this, I'm, this may be someone new that's coming in. This may be someone new that's coming into this situation, um, Capricorn. They may be a Capricorn as well. Uh, they may also be a Virgo or Taurus. But, yeah, <clears throat> they don't have to be, but then those are earth signs that... Um, that rule over the pentacles. You know what? I'm really feeling like this could have to do with family. The person that you're meeting or the person that's coming into your life, if they're not already in your life, I feel like you're going to meet somebody through a friend of a friend. I feel like this may also be maybe a friend of the family, maybe someone that you've known for a while or someone that you've known of. But I feel like you're very familiar with this person. I feel like you're very familiar. And I feel like you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you're feeling like with this person you can let your guard down. Very interesting. What else do we have for... We have the world. Yeah, okay. And we have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the star. Okay. <laughs> At the very bottom, we have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this is going to be something very passionate. This is going to be something very vibrant that's coming into your life Capricorn and I feel like it's coming into your life after after a rough cycle after you have completed some obstacles I feel like this person brings you balance them this person brings you happiness um, this person brings you good choices I don't know why I'm feeling good choices with this card, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this person brings good choices into your life. Maybe they balance you. Hmm. Okay, um, but I also feel like this person kind of puts you into the spotlight. I feel like with this person you feel whole. You feel healed. You feel some kind of resolve. Like something is just meant to be. I feel like they bring you a lot of hope. Very interesting. Okay. And yes, 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 Capricorn. They're making you feel the sun. This person makes you happy. This person brings you happiness. And the five of wands. I feel like with the Five of Wands, let's pull another card. What is this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. With the Five of Wands, I feel like you feel like this person is too good for you, Capricorn. You feel like this person has other options they have other choices like they there's other people trying that that want to steal this person away from you but you want to hold on tight to them i feel like you want to hold this close this person close to you and protect them very interesting 
interesting. Okay. You know what? I feel like getting one more card. One more card for Capricorn. Let's get some more clarity on this situation. Okay. The Five of Cups. Yeah, and this was actually in reverse. The Five of Cups. What I'm feeling is this person brings you out of your disappointments. This person makes you feel like whatever's lost is now found. Very interesting. Okay. Let's get some outcome cards for Capricorn. What is the outcome to this situation? What is the outcome to this situation, please? Yeah, you have the the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking walking into your destiny. Eight eight. Some kind of news. I this could also be working very fast in your energy. This is gonna come like a very big surprise. But I feel like you're going to fall into this situation very fast. Very fast. Okay. I don't know how that card got into there. The Hierophant. <clears throat> yeah, what fell out was the Fool. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely a new beginning. But let's go ahead and shuffle these cards. Let's get an outcome of the situation. Justice. Yeah, this is... Good karma coming around to you. This is something that you work for. This is something that is being delivered to you. Yes, the Ace of Cups. Your brand new beginning in love. This is something that you're going to be very passionate with. You're going to be very open to receiving. And it's going to come to you after a time of weakness. Maybe you're just getting out of a situation. Maybe you had to leave somebody behind. But this is, what I want to say is this is your therapy. I don't feel like this is a rebound, but I feel like this is your therapy. What is this? Okay, you have the Empress. Hmm. So I feel like this person is very attractive. This person is very fruitful. They may have a good job. They may also be a mother. They may also be a mother that puts you in a situation. Maybe you'll have a blended family. Because you also have the Six of Pentacles, which is equal give and take. So I feel like this person wants to give you something that you're lacking. You have the Nine of Cups on the bottom. So yes, this is contentment. This is something that maybe you've longed for for a long time. This is something that you may have been manifesting. This is something that you wished for. But I feel like good things are coming, Capricorn. Very interesting. Good things are coming. Let's get some manifestation cards for Capricorn. What is Capricorn manifesting at this time? What is Capricorn manifesting at this time? Okay. Okay. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. I think you've come a long way, Capricorn. I think that you've made a lot of effort. You, you work very, very hard. And I know that about you, Capricorns. You are very hard workers. You're very stable. You're very practical. You're very reliable. If you need something, you call on a Capricorn. They'll have you back. First quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. Definitely. Release what it is that is blocking you. Okay. 
and first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. One more card. And yes. Okay. And you're going to have trouble with this Capricorn. I already know it. First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. Surrender. Let the universe lead you. Ground yourself. Meditate. Ask your higher powers for help. But release surrender to the divine okay what you don't see on the bottom capricorn last quarter moon in leo lighten up be humorous you're funny capricorn you have a great sense of humor um show this person show the world your humor you're silly at times You know how to lighten up. You know how to have a good time. What moonology do we have for Capricorn? December 15th through the 31st. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Yes, just what I was saying. Find your balance. Find your balance, Capricorn. Be grounded. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. So you have the strength. You have strength. And be confident in your actions. New Moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Exactly. One more card for Capricorn. Take time to breathe out the decimating moon. Take time to relax, rejuvenate, balance yourself. And of course, Capricorn, what you don't see, what you may not expect, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Okay, now let's get a, some cards from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say to Capricorn. What messages from the universe do we have for Capricorn for December 15th through the 31st? This one. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Yes. And Capricorns, you are the sexiest when you are just yourself be yourself in your situation have your confidence show the world who capricorn really is my outer experiences are a reflection of my inner condition yeah so be positive don't let any negativity pull you away from your destined path I am the love and energy of the universe okay. and what you don't see on the bottom I when I'm connected to my joyful presence I attract support from the universe yes you are supported okay now spirit what can Capricorn do to get through any challenges or obstacles that they face? How can they overcome any challenges or obstacles this month? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Self-esteem. Be confident, Capricorn. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes, find your confidence. Be self-assured. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Follow your inner in intuition and trust yourself. Trust the guidance. 
and patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And lastly, success. I know there is no greater goal than to love. Yes, and I believe that you have that. At the bottom, what you don't see is judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, be aware of another person's challenge, Capricorn. Okay, this is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. If this reading resonates with you, Capricorn, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell th so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And many blessings to you, Capricorn. Love and light.